everyone, it's MD Toys. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but I'm super excited because I have a ton of Netflix over the moon merchandise that I wanted to share. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Thanks for joining and watching this video. I haven't made a video in a long time, like I said, but um, I have all this merchandise I kind of waited for after the holiday sales to happen, or sorry, during the holiday sales to happen, because I really loved this movie. It's on Netflix. It's called Over the Moon. The merchandise is made by Mattel. And uh, Glenn Keane, who was an animator for Disney, actually worked on the character design for this movie. So I have a few different things. I'm not going to unbox everything, um, probably any of it actually, uh, on screen here because there's so much to get through. So I'm going to try to keep each one as quick as possible, just so that way you can kind of take a look at these items in case you were wondering um, how the quality was and if you were interested to buy them. So we have a couple different things going on. We have the dolls that were made by Mattel. So we have Chunga and then we also have uh, Fei Fei. I have three versions of Chunga. We have the moon goddess version um, in her kind of like imperial look. And then we've got uh, two different ones that are towards the back there. We have the um, singing one in the corner and then we have this one which is just basically um, just a, a little bit of an articulated doll for play and then uh, over on this side here we have um, Fei Fei in her moon adventure outfit and then we have her on the other side over here um, with her bungee and then also her moon pies and then right in the front here we have a bungee plush that actually is a little bit interactive which I just kind of stumbled upon on Walmart and I so I bought that I hadn't seen anybody post reviews or videos about her so I wanted to include her in this also what they're sitting on in the back too is this really cool book it's an over the moon book that has um, all about their animation. It has about the character design. It also talks a lot about the storyboarding and the message of the movie. So um, I'm not gonna go completely through it, but I figured maybe I'll just show you a few photos that are in that book as well. So let's get started. First up, I'm just gonna show this Illuminating the Journey book. Um, this one, I got is actually a Christmas present so I don't know where this was purchased from but I did see it on Barnes and Noble I don't know if they have it on Amazon but Amazon pretty much has everything so checking there would be probably a good thing so there's uh, like I was saying in the intro to this video there is all kinds of artwork in here character artwork um, just you know the preliminary sketches storyboarding and this is such a cool kind of memento to have, I guess, if you really like the movie. I don't typically buy these books. I usually kind of like admire them at the store, but I don't know. There was just something so nice about this movie that I just, I don't know. I really, really liked it. For some reason, it I just really connected with this film. Um, but yeah, so this is the kind of a little glance through the book and there's some amazing amazing artwork in this i wish i knew a little bit more about the film i really haven't done my like full research before doing this video um i did flip through this a little bit uh probably well christmas day i did and then i went back in again and was just kind of flipping through it because i was really interested in the fashion designs i have a degree um, from a fashion school and so I'm always really interested in the sketches of the costumes because there's so much detail that goes into them uh, when they're creating uh, the design work for these films that it's like stuff that you don't ever get to see. So there's um, some kind of like a, a design of her performance outfit, uh, Chunga's performance outfit. And then there's also, this looks like kind of a, a sketch that I don't know what is going on here, but definitely very different looking. Thank God she didn't have those legs that look like that. It's so bizarre. 
and then um, just some more preliminary sketches, different hairstyles. This thing is so cool. So there she is. So, so pretty. So yeah, check this out. Um, if you're interested in artwork or just in general, if you really like this film, don't know how much it was, can't say. Uh, but again, I think I saw it on Bards and Noble. All right, next up is going to be Bungie. I basically picked the two things that were going to be the easiest to just quickly look at in the uh, in this little tiny photo and filming box that I have, um, this little tent. Uh, so this, is, I was really excited to get this because I didn't, one, I didn't see her before the holidays. I actually saw this after the holidays. And um, I was reading a couple of reviews uh, when she popped up on oops, when she popped up on Walmart.com, and so I was interested because they said that um, she you could kind of interact with her. So like her tummy, you can press it, and her ears go up. And then when you press the hand or the paw, her ears light up a little bit. So I figured this is pretty easy to take out because I am not the master unboxer filmer that a lot of these people are. I have like the lamest setup and I barely have ever have time to do anything. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. looks like there's a little tiny hook right in the back here. And again, these are made by Mattel. So there's a look at the inside of the box. A lot of cool little designs that you can see in the movie after she travels to the moon. I'll just put that in the back there. And with this, I was reading on the custom reviews that the only thing with the belly when you press it, it has kind of like an air bubble inside. So when you press it, the ears will go up. But I was reading that um, it's really hard for kids to do. So even for me like it's easier if you just press it with two that's so cute though so they go up and then when you click on the paw it's kind of hard to see maybe if i lower the light a little bit that way you can see it i'll do it like this so there you go see kind of hard to tell on camera but let's see if I'll turn the light down a little bit more there you go sorry I can see my ring light let's see she's got um these little bulbs that are look like little led bulbs underneath uh, or inside her ears and then you can actually uh, feel the little air pockets up at the top or the little mechanism right here it's it's still really soft and then it has um these little wires that you can kind of feel, but overall she's still super, super soft. Um, turn that off, turn my light back up. So she's still really soft, even though she has that, that mechanism in there. She's got a little bit of tuft of hair at the top here. Really great embroidery on the eyes. And um, if you were like me, and you watch this movie and you love anything cute and fluffy oh my god i was like obsessed with this character i just wanted more bungee and more bungee the whole entire movie so that is the i don't even know if she has like an actual name in terms of the product name it's just called bungee so it doesn't really say anything particular about the name and this one I noticed it came out, um, at least for me anyway, I only saw her on walmart.com after the holidays, but some of the reviews that were on walmart.com um, uh, were of people that had said that they purchased it for Christmas and that, so they received it before Christmas. I never saw her, I never saw it on Amazon either. As far as I know, she's still on there if you are interested to get her. All right, we're moving on to Chunga's um, Ultra Luminary outfit that she um, performs in. And by the way, just so if you know a couple of details or notice a couple of details, 
Um, I am actually filming this like several days later, so I'm not, <laughs> I was going through my previous clips and I'm not wearing my watch or my sweater. So if you were wondering, um, I take a, I took a big break, but anyway, getting back to this doll, this is the, um, the singing doll. So this one actually sings the, um, the movie from, I'm sorry, the song from the film. And, um, when you press her tummy, she sings, but I'm not going to press it. It's actually super sensitive. So like the second I pick it up, she pretty much just sings. So I'm just going to kind of talk about the look of this doll. Um, she does not come with a doll stand. I just needed to find something to stand her up so you could see a little bit better. But, um, also what I did was I actually took the other doll out, which was just more of like the basic doll. She doesn't actually sing. And I actually took her out of her outfit completely. Um, to, I was kind of curious to see how or what the differences were so I can compare them. So this one with the singing one, everything is pretty much the same in terms of the doll in comparison to the other basic doll. Um, the uh, shoes, the, um, the legs are the same in terms of the sculpted on, well it's really just like a painted leg to um, replicate in either like tights or nylons. Um, the dress is a little bit different which I can show you here. So this is the other dress. So the similar, it's very similar, but really the differences are, if you can see uh, in the shoulders, there's a little bit of a difference in terms of the stitching. On the singing doll, there's a yellow overlock stitch. And then also there's um, a lot of glitter in the bodice. And then also on this top part of the dress, which is um, three different parts. So um, they're actually separate, however, they're sewn in the back, um, all on the same seam, so you can't really, like, fluff it out. I'm sure if you steamed it a little bit, you could, um, but the glitter is more just replicated with a print on the basic doll, which is this one. So if you want, um, a little bit of detail, a little bit more than this one, you can get the singing doll where it's almost the same exact doll except for the fact that you press a button on her stomach and she sings the song, Ultra Luminary. Um, also what's interesting is the, I was wondering how the headpiece worked, so I actually took it off and I thought it was just something that because there's the little tag tails right here, I thought it was just being supported by that, but there's actually a, um, a peg that is inside that um, goes into a hole into her head. So this, when you take it off, I mean, it, it's pretty cool. The interesting thing though, is that if you want to, let's say, use this for another doll or play with it on another doll, the head is a little bit larger than probably like a, just a standard Barbie doll. Also, you'd have to cut this peg off and find the right size head in order to put this on. So this is another, um, the, the head sculpt or the hair sculpt is exactly the same though. And um, also what I did was I took the other Chunga doll out because I was curious to see if she fit in regular Barbie clothes. And she does. I took her hair down also so you can kind of see the quality of the hair. Even though she has um, that hole in her head, the hair covers it, covers it pretty well. So you can't really see it at all, actually. And... Um, the hair itself is really soft. It's The doll is um, nicely rooted. She's got a lot of hair. And then uh, this is a Barbie fashion pack. So she fits in regular Barbie clothes. She actually fits pretty well. Um, but again, because this is not really like a standard Barbie, her hands, this like this one here, it's the fingers are uh, spread out. So it was a little bit tough to get the, um, the sleeves over the hand. The pants fit really well. So the other thing I was curious about was the feet because I noticed that the feet were, were very different in terms of the arch. So this is a Wild Hearts Crew um, roller skate. And this one is actually a Disney Descendants um, shoe. So these I found fit pretty well. The Disney Descendants boot, this one's a boot. It's a little bit loose, whereas this one, it's actually pretty snug and it's actually a pretty good match. So this, if you can find um, like different shoes, maybe this size, um, 
these will work. However, Barbie shoes will not work. Just a regular Barbie. So, this, just to kind of recap, this is basically the same exact doll, same facial paint, um, and everything else. It's just that the this outfit came with this doll, um, so this is more of the basic line. Okay, next up we have uh, the two Fei Fei dolls that are in two different outfits from two different parts of the movie. Um, the one on the left, this one here, this is um, Fei Fei in her, pretty much her look through the entire um, first portion of the movie and then into the middle. Um, and then the doll on the right is her kind of like moon expedition outfit, which the jacket is supposed to be kind of like a silver puffy jacket. Um, so starting with the regular Fei Fei on the right or on the left, um, she has um, her box of moon cakes, which if you haven't seen the movie, her, she has a family business where they make moon cakes. And then um, she's also accompanied by her pet bunny, Bungie. And also she does come with this scarf, which I mean, I don't want to give away too many spoilers if you haven't seen the movie, but um, this was given to her, so she does wear this throughout the movie. The only thing I would say is I wish it was a little bit longer because it's kind of hard to put it around her neck because it's so short, but it has a really nice um, screen printed image on there. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It's supposed to be like a watercolor. So that one's really nice. They're um, wearing two different outfits, which I would say the major thing really is that on the um, moon expedition outfit or whatever it's called. I can't remember the actual name. Um, she has painted legs where the other doll, she has shorts and leggings. The leggings are basically sewn into the shorts. So basically think of it as like pants. Um, the, also the top, she's got a top in this one. This, she has a fully removable jacket and also a t-shirt underneath. And um, the doll on the, on the right, when she goes to the moon, she has her um, little astronaut helmet, which comes with this set. And then also she has, uh, she comes with Gobi, which I think on the box it said that his name was Luna, I think, which I thought was kind of interesting because in the movie his name is Gobi. This, if you hold him under a light and then turn the light down, he uh, actually glows in the dark. So that's really cute. And then in terms of the articulation, they are both articulated in the knee and then also in the elbow. So with these, they have just basic movement. They're, I mean, it's okay. And then, um, so you can see there's no wrist articulation. And then also with this one, she does come with a backpack. So it's actually pretty easy to get on and off. I. Uh, actually had another doll that I ordered on Amazon um, which is the same this is the same one but it was really weird it didn't come with this so um, I actually had gotten to see the backpack because it was it had fallen out of the package so this is um, uh, Fei Fei without her jacket on and really cute clothes they're made you know fairly well they're pretty thin in terms of the fabric but really fun to play dress up and except for the fact that you know it's kind of a drawback that she doesn't actually have the pants so in terms of the two dolls i mean you get kind of a lot with them um you know for the price they come with a little bit more than just the doll itself which is really nice so it comes with the characters the other characters that are are featured in the movie and then also you have um at least some kind of clothing options in terms of if you get both of them you can kind of swap out some of the clothing pieces and then again uh, basic articulation with an added um, articulation in the elbow they are also um, very movable in the neck joint as well where they can pivot and rotate and um, this is more of like a harder plastic the uh, doll itself and overall just a really cute doll their face paint is exactly the same um, headband exactly the same so um, with out of the two of them I really can't pick one that I like more I really like both of them I think they're both done well 
and um, if you can get them on a sale price, I would just get both, which is what I did because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And um, also they each come with a different character that's a little companion. So if you watch the movie and you like one over the other, it's going to be kind of hard. Well, it would be easier to decide, but if you like both characters and you kind of want as many characters from the movie that you can get, I would recommend getting both of these. Okay, last but not least, we're moving on to what I feel is the best doll. I mean, this is just such an amazing, amazing, um, well-made, designed, and, and just, man, I just love this doll so much. And, you know, I would recommend if you do get her um, to pull her out of the box because this doll is so so pretty once you take her out um oh i mean as well as leaving her in the box but um once i took her out and i kind of took the fabric and and kind of spread it out it really uh has a lot of volume and um for the price point it's just made so well i think originally it's 50 dollars. i think i got mine when she went down to 35 so i would highly highly recommend this doll um, this is Chunga in the, one of the last scenes of the movie. This is when, uh, in the reunited, uh, the uh, reunion scene, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here, uh, in the reunion scene, and this is her transition or transformation look. Um, uh, I just love the design of this, and it was actually really, it was done so well in terms of um, translating it into a, uh, a doll from the original design. I have in here actually the book that I was shown earlier. Uh, the only thing I would say that um, really I would add is just the fact that in the movie she has this little bit of paint detail uh, on her forehead and then also um, the portion of or different portions of the headpiece are different colors like this is a pink ribbon and there's uh, gold detailing so then when you look at the doll she has a more silver detailing and she also has uh, the ribbon is uh, like a silver so you know just difference in colors I would say um, but as far as that, you know, she's, she's really fantastic. And uh, I'm going to bring her a little bit closer. I have her currently on a doll stand. In case you're wondering, she does not come on a doll stand, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, I think, you know, you get kind of either get one thing or the other. You get a doll that is really well made uh, or and with no stand or you get a doll with a stand and then you know, then you're like, I wish this was going on. I wish this and this and this. So there's always something. And um, just to kind of go through the details, I just want to do a full on look at everything. So you can see everything going on. It's kind of a, a lot of design. The doll itself is the same articulation as the basic dolls. So articulation in the elbow, in the knee, um, also the same pivot uh, with the neck as well. And um, the other thing in terms of the facial paint where, you know, she doesn't have that little red, I don't know if it was like a, a blossom or something like that. The only other thing really that I noticed is that, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Um, is that her face paint on mine is kind of like blurred a little bit. I don't know exactly what was going on, but the, I guess it's the eyeshadow. It kind of just looks almost like the, when they printed it, it smudged. I don't know if they were just more trying to do that as a, te a technique to make it more, look more like a shadow. Um, but the, on this one, this side, it's a little bit different. It's, it looks like it didn't smudge. 
This is a new uh, screening process that Mattel is doing where it looks like they are printing this on instead of spraying it on. So if the kind of the closer you go to the paint, you can almost see like a pixelation. And, you know, some people really don't like it. I think what it does is it, it kind of makes like a softer look where maybe the lines aren't as harsh and it they're trying to maybe like blend it blend the colors together a little bit more i also don't know if it's like more of a cost thing if it's cheaper or not um it probably is because they're doing it all in i'm assuming one um you know printing process whereas doing deco for facial paint they have to spray each layer with a different mask so this probably could be more um kind of like a uh, one they can get it accurate but then also two it's probably a better price point but again i don't know that so looking at um these pieces from her that are hanging on her headpiece these are where the colorways are a bit different from the movie versus the doll where in the movie they're gold really would have liked to see the gold um i think i might actually paint them myself just to change it because i do like the movie version a little bit better than this silver also her belt is gold so i would think that it would look better all matching and then when you go down you see really nicely sculpted belt her necklace as well the entire dress is actually several uh, layers and then when you get down to the bottom here let me zoom out a little bit there is a panel that's right in the middle I love that it's not sewn on or printed on because I know sometimes that is a something that you know brands will do to save a little bit of money but again like I was saying this is all different layers so you've got this top layer in this kind of mint green color and this goes throughout onto the sleeve and then also in the bodice and then when you go around to the back one of the the great things about this doll is that unlike the basic doll where the back seam the different layers were sewn into each other each layer is sewn separately so that helps to really create the volume all around from a 360 view with this doll. Um, since we're kind of in the back area, oops, sorry about that. The ribbon detail on the back is actually a plastic molded detail, which I don't really get why they did that. Maybe it was just so that it would hold its structure um, rather than trying to tie each ribbon and have it, you know, probably because this is in the back of the box. I'm not really sure. Um, this pink ribbon is uh, was tacked into the box so you do have to kind of cut it out and the only thing with that is you do get these little um, holes from that I haven't tried to kind of like uh, twist the fabric a little bit to try to get them out but they're they are pretty noticeable when you get to the sleeve you've got the same color fabric as the what is um, in the skirt the on uh, the second layer and then this one it's double layered which is great it's sewn at the bottom and then there is on the sleeve this really nice um, pastel yellow color I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you can kind of see the the natural color of it I think my light is kind of washing it out a little bit but um, with this it's uh, lined on the inside and then on the outside of the sleeve there's this really nice printed uh, detail trim that's on the sleeve and then the sleeve is nicely hemmed they hang pretty much almost down to I would say maybe close to her ankle and these are just so they're nice and um, uh, voluminous I would say because they've got those multiple layers in there so it really translates that kind of like flowy thick fabric but at the same time um, she has this kind of ethereal quality uh, her shoes are different than the other dolls so this one they have um, kind of like 
I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. They do have a little bit of a, a printed detail. Let me take her off here so you can see. So we've got on the side here, there are kind of these like swirls that are on the side, a little bit of like filigree, and then on the toe, um, it's just kind of, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be anything, but to me it looks like flower petals and the center of it, it looks like there's something printed on there as well. It's kind of hard to see. And it's um, kind of like a wedge heel. So I do like that on this doll, instead of just doing a simple, um, you know, pastel blue shoe, they did add a lot of detail to it. Also, when you go to the back, the heel of the shoe kind of resembles the falling ribbon um, that is in the back of the dress. So really, really nice job. And again, she's got the same articulation. Here are her, her knee joints. She's there. The, um, articulation on these are, it's a little bit stiff. I would say the movements aren't exactly, you know, super fluid with the articulation, but I don't think this is the type of doll that you would really be, you know, playing with a lot because it's kind of more like a collector piece. So I absolutely love this doll. I would definitely recommend getting her if you are a fan of the movie. Um, I did take her out of the box, obviously, but I did save the box because the box itself was really, really pretty. So I wanted to keep that so I could put her back in there and kind of position her how I want. Um, uh, definitely 10 out of 10. And I would say that um, if you have not seen the movie, please check it out. It's so fantastic. And um, also that book that I was showing you, that one again, it's um, called Illuminating the Journey and it has a lot of the um, artwork and storyboarding and concept design of the movie. So if you are kind of into artwork for the movie, I would definitely recommend that one. The pictures are beautiful, very vibrant. So that is about it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys liked it. It's been actually really fun jumping back into this. Um, one final thing before I go, I forgot to mention that the, um, the uh, kind of the collector doll comes with Jade Rabbit, which is her rabbit who lives on the moon with her. Um, another figure from the movie. So again, if you love this movie and you want as many characters as you can get, each doll, uh, the two basic dolls of Fei Fei, and then also the uh, collector doll of Chunga comes with a character. So you can kind of, I guess, get each character and build up your collection. I don't think she's gonna, he's gonna end up standing. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. I hope you liked this video and, um, Hopefully I can get more done and that way I have more content for you guys. All right. Take care. Bye guys.